What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. You're not gonna believe what we're doing today. You don't believe dude, let's go. All right guys, out here on a small little lake close to my house today. This is exactly how the jig's gonna be whenever it's completely done. We've got it dialed in now how I like it. Got a brand new jig rod that I just made specifically for throwing around this jig and other jigs like it. And uh, first official cast coming up right here under this dock that I don't think I've ever caught a fish under. So seems like a good place to throw my brand new jig for the first time ever. If I catch one on this dock, I know it's the real deal. How to get a feel for it. There we go. Take just ski it. Just like walks on water. I call this the Jesus ski. So this jig actually has a rate of fall of about two feet per second. And to a lot of the old school guys or a lot of people that don't use a heavy jig for running down the bank, it's gonna seem like that's a fast fall. But that's exactly what I like out of a half ounce jig or this time of year specifically fishing clear water. I like for something that kind of snaps to the bottom pretty fast. Something that, and there's two reasons for that. Number one, I can fish these docks so much faster. So I can skip it under there. And if I'm in six foot of water, it only takes three seconds for it to hit the bottom, you know, and I can work the bait on that pretty fast. I'm throwing a three eighths ounce jig that only falls like, you know, a foot and a quarter per second. It just adds up throughout the course of a day that you're gonna go a lot slower. Now, another thing is this time of the year when the fish are not actively feeding, a lot of times they'll be under there and they, they suspend a lot. I put a new prop on the trolling motor just testing it and it is a little bit too loud so I'm going to have to go back to the other one. That's a little bit quieter. Another thing, whenever they're suspending on those docks, skip it under there and it falls so fast a lot of times. It doesn't fall that fast but two feet per second is relatively quick for a little jig. So it falls pretty fast and gets a lot of reaction bites too. So that's that's kind of my concept whenever I'm throwing this thing around. I'm trying to get it under there as quietly as possible, make it fall super fast. Whenever they see it, they got to chase it to the bottom and it's moving fast. So when it hits the bottom, a lot of times they eat it. So that's that's what I'm trying to do with this jig. And uh, you know, we're also going to have a 3 8 ounce size, which is probably going to fall. Haven't really played with those yet, so I don't know for sure, but it's probably going to fall, you know, one point, one foot every, you know, three quarters of a second or something like that. So two feet every second and a half or something like that. That's probably gonna be about what it is. So it's gonna be a, a decent amount slower, but this is the one that I'm gonna have on the front deck at all times. Y'all know me, y'all know I like to go fast. Anything that helps me go fast is good. Fast and efficient. The goal is not to just go fast. The goal is to catch as many fish as possible. And whenever you can go fast and fish the water efficiently, that makes you catch more fish. Not just burning down the bank. That doesn't actually make you catch any more. Gets on them, but it does skip pretty good. It doesn't make a big splash. It doesn't like thud or anything when it hits the water. That's actually what you want out of a jig. You want it to really like sound like you don't want to. You don't want to make a lot of disruption. You want it to really slide. That goes for kind of when you're skipping anything. You want it to really slide. Kyle, what? This is <laughs> we got. We got one bag in the whole boat. What else do you need? When you got a jig this good, you just need one little pack of trailers. That is all. There's one. Oh no. That ain't good. That's a good one. Especially for on this lake. I can't believe I lost him. I didn't get a good hook set in him, I don't really feel like. Yep. Another, another small one, tiny one. Yeah. Different one got it. Look at how that one got it. Now, it hurts my feelings. I just lost that one. Sometimes you're gonna lose them. But look at that. This is not a big fish. 
and look at how far deep he's hooked. You cannot see that jig at all. That means we got a really, really good hook gap. Let me look in his mouth. I can't really, you can't, I ain't supposed to look at it too close up because it's not released yet, but you can see a little bit of it right there. It's got a really good hook gap. You can see down there, it's hooked in the back of the throat way down there. So, I mean, it's a really, really good jig. So I don't know why I lost that one just then, but I definitely did. Skip that one under that thing. I actually got a smaller bite at first and kept hopping it. Then I got a better bite at the, on the outside of that dock. So nice spot of bass. Uh oh. He was ready to go. spotted bass under the tip of the dock. That's a small spot, so that's kind of how you expect a hook one. But, at the same time, it's all the way through and out. Even though it's not as deep, all the way through and out. Look, 12 inch spot. Fat one, dude. Up underneath that dock. Hook good. All the way through. Especially for a little bitty old fat spot like that. I like it. I like it a lot actually. I knew I was gonna like it. We got some prototypes in that I we had to keep changing stuff, keep changing, keep changing. But we nailed it this time, like for real. I think this is like no joke. Top two jigs on the market right now. Good one, man. That's how them good ones usually bite. You got more bites on that jig than you have in a while here. <laughs> Yo, you ain't wrong. Like, for real. One of the things that's really important is utilizing your front electronics whenever you're doing this. Like, if you look down, you can see that every fish I'm catching is really showing up on the graph, and I just pretty much got to drop straight to them. You know, it's no problem. Everything there, I mean, it just shows everything around me. It's just so important to always be watching that yeah if you zoom in right there i think you can actually see the fish i think there's a you could probably see a big one right there yep see and then you just skip under there to them that's all you gotta do that's it that's all it's easy it's too easy same pattern i'm gonna implement on gunnersville sucker was running with it that time. He was on the move. That's a pretty good. That's a golden one. Like a Coosa River spot. All oh, golden. Alright guys, getting dark now. You know, we're headed to Gunnersville in the morning, so we're gonna go ahead and leave the lake. When they're biting the jig on our docks though, it's so hard for me to leave. It's one of my favorite things to do in the world. But all out of jig trailers didn't take a lot because i've been organizing my tackle and i don't have any more with me i just brought one loose bag I've only had three in it and the one that was already on the jig so time to go did catch some y'all got to see the first i don't know how many fish that was 10 fish i caught on my signature series little prototype jig so so it's gonna be on the market like january super excited about it i'm glad i'm gonna have it for like four or five months before everybody else does so pretty cool pretty cool to have one that's gonna have my name on it that we're actually out here busting them on so this is a, a lake that's actually pretty tough you know the tournaments have not been taking much people have not been catching a lot of fish and i just came here today and caught like 10. so i mean i didn't catch any big ones i did lose a two and a half pounder but we caught a bunch of fish and it's been a tough thing to do here is get a lot of bites so had a lot of fun today hope you enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button going to gunnersville gonna make like i don't know five videos from gunnersville gonna be a, gonna be a fun week gonna be a good time so hit that subscribe button you don't want to miss it we'll catch you all in the next one